What's up, book lovers? It's Tabby. Welcome back to another non-edited, crabalicious, awesome, tastic new video. Today, I am bringing you my April TBR, and sorry that my March TBR and my April TBR are so far apart, because I, like, film them in different parts, which is kind of awkward, but yeah. So, let's get into my April TBR. So, the first book I want to read in April is The Humming Room by Ellen Potter, and I actually have already read this, because it's super short. And um, it's also by Publishing House Square Fish, which is one of my favorite publishing places because, like, every single thing that they publish, I love. So, yeah. I really like Square Fish. Um, I gave this one four to five stars. I really like it. Um, liked it. Um, but it, this is not a wrap up. But it's about, like, Secret Garden. It's sort of like um, a twist on the Secret Garden, I think. Um, they say, but I have not read that book yet, but I'm really excited to. Um, so, yeah, I get this one four to five stars, but I already read it in April. And then next book I want to read in April is The School for Good and Evil, A World Without Princes by Soman Kainani. I think that's his name. Soman Kainani, that's how I pronounce it. But I read the first book, um, in March, and it was really good, so... I have to pick up the second one, and I'm sure this will be another 5 out of 5 stars, unless it's not as good as the first. But, you know, I'm very excited to pick this one up in April. And the next book I would like to pick up or finish is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, or Cassie Clare, whatever you want to say. Um, and I, this um, book, I'm pretty sure you know what it's about because it's a Cassandra Clare book and it's in the Infernal Devices tri trilogy. And I'm currently reading it and I'm loving it. So, yeah, I'm reading Clockwork Angel. And I'm also reading this book, I'm hoping to finish is Savvy by Ingrid Law and this is a beautiful cover by the way would you just look at that I mean it's gorgeous um yes but I got this from the library and I'm really excited to f to finish it I'm only this part this far in but still I'm very excited to get into this and finish it and I um I think it's okay so far so yes and sorry about this British accent it's very annoying I'm sure. So, let's just get on with it. The next book I'm super excited to read is The False Prince by Jennifer A. Nielsen. And this book is has getting so much hype lately. And I'm so excited to pick it up. Like, really excited. I mean, like, really, really excited. Like, really. So, um, but this is pretty short. It's, like, kind of medium-sized. Oh, but I'm super excited to pick it up because my sister loves it and like Lindsay Ray from Lindsay from Lindsay Ray loves it and so I'm so excited to pick this up and it's middle grade slash YA it's kind of in between I think I've heard but I'm super super hyped to read that um and then the next book I want to read is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey and I read The Fifth Wave and my oh my was it like just mind blown it was so good i loved fifth wave so i'm really excited to read the infinite sea and it's way shorter than the first one i realized um i've heard okay things about the infinite sea i've heard like some people um like it and some people like nah, nah. so yeah but i'm super excited to pick that one up i'm really excited to pick all of these up so it doesn't really matter um and the next book is the darkest minds by alexander bracken Oh my gosh, uh, this book is like so old now. Everyone has read it and I haven't. And so I'm going to read it on my Kindle. Um, but seriously, everyone has read this book, like The Darkest Minds. But I'm super, super hyped to read it. So I'm super, super excited to read The Darkest Minds. Read The Darkest Minds. Oh yeah. But yeah, sorry for this really awkward video. Um, but that's my April TBR. So I will see you guys later. Take care. Don't be a hater. See you later.